Tonight, it is my special honor to introduce a very wonderful guest who was going to kick up this momentous Board of Education meeting. I am so excited to announce Bobby Lefebvre. Bobby is a graduate of North High School, class of 2020, as well as an award-winning writer, performer, and cultural social worker, fusing a non-traditional multi-hyphenated professional identity to imagine new realities, empower communities, advance art and culture, and serve as an agent of provocation, transformation, equity, and social change. Lefebvre is the youngest and first poet laureate of color in Colorado's history. In 2019, Lefebvre was named the Colorado Theater Person of the Year. I will now turn it over to him to open our meeting. Thank you so much for being here today. Yes, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for the invitation. Um, I do appreciate you all bringing poetry into these spaces, especially at times right now, like now that are uncertain and, you know, poetry and art always has a way of connecting us in, in ways that um, no other thing can. So I'm going to share some poems. I have four short poems with you. Uh, you've given me five minutes, so I, I won't um, take up more time than that. Um, but these are all poems that I have created during this time that I've been at home. Um, you know, some poems are, are contemplative uh, around who is uh, suffering most at these times. As a social worker, someone who works in community a lot, that's where the majority of my work lives. Uh, so thanks again for having me. Uh, these are our four poems about where we are right now. The sirens are sounding. The screams are loud. The virus has packed its bags. World traveler without a passport. Borders are man-made. Walls cannot contain life on the move, but that's another story. Asian businesses were empty before streets. Racism, the toilet paper is gone. Panic begets panic. My 3 p.m. meeting is now a Zoom conference. Tom Hanks is raising his hand. Let's talk about the poor. 30 million uninsured. Ends meet, public transportation to get there. Self-quarantine, privilege, paradox. Blue collars can't work remotely. Hourly wages side-eye the salaried. Go ahead and cancel school. Childcare is a killer too. Industrialized without a heart. Developed without a conscience. Capitalism gaslights. Blames our bodies instead of broken systems. Wash your hands. Cough into your sleeve. Plutocracy lampooning universal healthcare. Call on your God or whatever. Just don't touch your face when you make the sign of the cross. So that was the first poem that I wrote um, as this was all unfolding. And as things continue to unfold, um, I always have the people that are serving us in, in my heart and thoughts. And so this next uh, short poem goes out to all of those who have had to continue to keep the world in order. Uh, this is for all of them and all of you who may be watching. And together we watched it happen. Watched the stars come out at night. There, right before our eyes, a grand reveal. And the stars, the people, they did what they always do. They got up, they packed their lunch, they clocked in, they delivered their bodies, they took orders, they worked, they didn't complain, they were grateful, they smiled, they cashed their checks, they paid their bills, they were broke again, they prayed, they stretched, they made miracles, they raised children, they dreamed in grocery stores and fields and janitor's closets and restaurants and shelters and classrooms and factories and banks and offices and warehouses and buses, trucks, trains, some in emergency rooms and clinics and morgues and mortuaries they worked because rent because food because bills because insurance because integrity because heart because someone has to make the money for those at the top who don't really make it themselves um, and as things continue to unfold you know we have to also celebrate the the beauty and all of this uh, and one thing that is um I guess unmovable is that things will continue to move. Things will continue to live. Um, you know, Pablo Neruda once said that you can cut down all the flowers, but you cannot uh, contain spring from coming, cannot stop spring from coming. So this is a ghazal. It's a, a ancient Middle Eastern form of poetry where there's a refrain that is repeated. This is ghazal for spring. For now, 
Let us hang our pain and worry on the closest hook and admire the army of tulips stretching outside. It is spring. If you will, turn off the news and be still for a moment. Listen to the loud sound of silence that sings, it is spring. The coyotes and deer and bear have begun to reclaim the land. The water is clearer, the air is fresh, fish are swimming, it is spring. Mother Earth is shedding the old like a snake, curando heridas abiertas, showing us the love in sacrifice and growth. Que hermoso, verdad? Es primavera. Chase the smile welling inside you, even if you feel it is fleeting. It is proof the sun always has your back. It is spring. Do not walk around the promise of new beginnings as if tomorrow will foolishly repeat the mistakes of yesterday. Seeds are sprouting. It is spring. Forget not, there is a warm body in front of each shadow, a heart beating, a mind conspiring, a spirit opening. It is spring. This morning, Entangled bodies made love as the cold rain fell softly outside. Physical distance morphing into metaphor, climax equinox, it is spring. The wind is howling outside. The hood is a siren that isn't sounding. I'm contemplating what will blossom from all of this. It is spring. And this last poem is really about uh, what we have sort of had to do, those of us with the privilege of having time and having space to really contemplate uh, where you are and who you are in this time of quarantine. Uh, for a lot of us, you know, capitalism teaches us that our, our bodies are machines and, and that we're not um, worth anything unless we're producing. And so this poem for me is uh, about disconnecting and reconnecting with um, the things that really matter. Uh, once again, thank you so much for having me. This is my last poem. It's called Nothing Left. And when there is nothing left to do but live, let us retire the noise and build a home inside the stillness. Grab a wrench and unfasten the parts of you that have become mechanical. Rest your weary limbs on the bed of anomaly. Outside, the machine is powering down. You can hear the birds when the gears aren't grinding. When there is nothing left to do but live, make a vacation of your body. Each part explored, a stamp on your passport. Begin with your heart, maybe. Crawl inside and sightsee. Ask difficult questions about who it is and why. Outside, the machine is powering down. You can hear yourself when the gears aren't grinding. When there is nothing left to do but live, simply show up. That has always been enough. And together... In this sudden strangeness, radical imagination will run wild, tomorrow being built today. Thank you. What an amazing, thank you so much. That was perfect. I think that's the perfect way to welcome us back um, in the midst of a pandemic. We are very grateful to you, especially as a graduate of North High School. So thank you very kindly. I think all of our board and our staff are deeply grateful to you. So thank you very much. I appreciate the invitation. Thank that you. That was wonderful. Yes, absolutely wonderful. Perfect. Thank you.